Happy Monday everyone, today's story is Monkey Bedtime. The sky was dark and the moon was bright. It's bedtime, Mummy said. So I grabbed my book and teddy bear and ran upstairs to bed. But suddenly I heard an eek, a tap, tap, tap on the pane. A tiny little monkey face was peering through the rain. I'm sure my mum won't mind, I thought. He's really very small. One tiny pygmy marmoset could do no harm at all. So I let him in the window and we bounced on all the beds. We counted stars and raced my cars and balanced on our heads. It's bedtime, called my mummy. Please come down and wash your face. But the marmoset swung down the stairs and off I ran in chase. Then he opened the door and let a load more monkeys in. <gasps> there were six red-handed howlers and a lion tamarind. It's time for bed, I told them as they turned on the TV. But they shrieked in pulvered faces, threw banana skins at me. The howler monkeys giggles as they climbed the curtain rails. And they hollered, howled, and hiccuped as they hung there by their tails. Please brush your teeth, yelled Mummy. And who's making all that noise? I'm coming, Mum, I shouted back, just tidying my toys. But sailing down the chimney came a mandarill with balloons and six maquettes. Ten capuchins and two great baboons. No more, I told the monkeys, but they screamed ah, ah, oh, 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 ah, 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 as they scampered to the bathroom and guzzled Mum's shampoo. The tamarind pump burped out his name in bubbles in the air. The marmoset jumped in the sink and squeezed toothpaste in his hair. Oh my goodness. Where are your pyjamas? It's bedtime, Mummy said. No more, I begged the monkey mob. I have to go to bed. But the monkeys didn't listen. They whooped. <laughs> then they opened up the window and three gibbons came in too. To the kitchen, shrieked the mandarill, and they scampered down the stairs. The howler monkeys juggled with the pineapples and pears. <laughs> the capuchins left little jammy handprints up the wall. Oh, these monkeys are big trouble. Mum will not like this at all. It's bedtime, shouted Mummy. What is going on down there? In a minute, Mum, I yelled. I've lost my teddy bear. I turned around to look. And can you guess the mess I saw? One baboon slurped ice cream and dripped jelly on the floor. <laughs> A big macaque did backflips with my pants upon its ears. The gibbons grinned and giggled, but my eyes filled up with tears. The house was in a monkey jumble, messy as could be. I cried, no more, you silly monkeys, or my mummy will blame me. And every monkey stopped. Suddenly, the monkey mob grew quiet as a mouse. They shivered and they quivered as they looked around the house. Oh, please don't cry. We're sorry and we don't want any trouble. We'll tidy this mess up at once. We'll clean it on the double. So the gibbons wiped the windows and the mandarill took a broom and they cleaned and scrubbed and swept until they tidied every room. The bedroom, the lounge and the bathroom and the kitchen counters too. Then I heard the mandarill whisper, quick, let's get back to the zoo. And they disappeared as if I had been dreaming and the house was so tidy, it was sparkling and gleaming. So I put on my pyjama pants and tumbled into bed. What a lot of monkeying around, my mummy said. But when she 
she went downstairs, she grinned and cried, Well done! What a tidy house! I'm so proud of you, my son. As an extra special treat, I'll take you out to the zoo. I know you love monkeys, and there's a tea party too. <gasps> it's time to party! Monkey tea party today at 2pm. <laughs> oh dear, the end.